Shouldn't have done that, but good news. We made it. We're here. A random lay-by somewhere in North Wales for the start of this one, and the sun has just started blazing. What a day for it. In all honesty, I'm not actually that far from the Mount Snowden itself, but that's not my target for today. You see, I've been up here for a few days and there's one thing that I really want to do before I head back to the Midlands, and that's do a wild camp with this setup. Admittedly, we have been up to the Peak District before around winter time and slept in the car in a wild sort of environment, but I've never once been out in the wilds and had the full set up with the tent and everything else out and just enjoyed it properly out in the middle of nowhere. So today, it's exactly what I'm gonna do and I've got the most perfect spot to test it all out. Not too far from where I am now. But before we head up there, I wanted to head up to a little spot just down the road from where I am, which is probably one of the most infamous little spots in all of North Wales, if I'm honest. And if half of you don't know about it, I'll be very surprised. Every day is something new, but change gonna come, oh yes, it's true. Brighter days are straight ahead, follow me, won't be misled. Just look up, don't hang your head, and we'll get to the promise, yeah. And it may I'm freaking hey, dude. I don't know how I've managed it, but look at the state of the place we're in. This road is a chuffy nightmare. Oh, there's like official parking up here, man. Who didn't think of making it an half decent road to get here by any chance, but no! Oh man, this is woof. We're not even nearly there either. Still got about two mile of this dreaded thing. Gordon Bennett. Wales, mate. What are you doing to me? Oi. Kia loves it though. Oh mate, this place is amazing. It's like all official sort of walks and trails and park ups like national park signs all over the place. It looks like there's a ton of places you could overnight around here. There's views and such. I never even knew about this area. This is wicked, mate. Just the road's a freaking nightmare. You know, sometimes when you're in North Wales, you hit these sort of roads and for a while you're driving them and after a while you just want a little bit of respite from it. And I, no. Like, even tonight, the track I'm gonna go down is just as bad, even worse than this. And the only way out from here is back the way I've come. Oh, God. Look at it. No passing lanes, no nothing, man. High hedgerows, welcome to Wales. Yowza. Mwah. <sighs> 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 Shouldn't have done that, but good news. We made it, we're here. <laughs> well, what can I say? After all the trauma, this is legendary, mate. This, believe it or not, is Swallow Falls. Yeah, Swallow Falls. I bet loads of you know it. It's off one of the main O roads coming from sort of the east towards Snowdon and you used to be able to stop off for free, nice little waterfall there, have a little view, and now you have to pay to sort of go in some gated area, but this, oh yeah, we're sneaking in the back entrance, and I do like to go in the back entrance. Not really, but yeah, cause it looks like we might be able to get there for free. Ha <laughs> ha, and it's a wicked trail, man. I think it's about 2.3 miles. Meanders through a number of little bits of woodland and some fields and down by the stream beautiful little trail and honestly as I said coming up that road I'm stoked to have found this little spot it's like a little gem that I never knew of in the north part of Wales mate you know oh, squirrel dude there he is on the tree there he goes woohoo on a mad one I mean he's cute but to be fair he's an imposter grey squirrel eh I don't think I've ever seen a red squirrel Man, those things look so cute. <sighs> Shame, eh? We used to thrive all over the country and then the imposter came and wiped them out. It's a bit of a mad one, isn't it? 
It's like the old uh, Polynesians with the rats in New Zealand wiping out the dodos. <sighs> Is it dodos? Giant chickens. You know what I mean? Really? Look it up. Giant chickens. They were like 12 foot tall, man. Whoa. Imagine that on your dinner plate. Sunday dinner. Leg or a wing? Oh, you know. Oh, just a little bit. Can have half the beat. Oh, imagine it. Psychic Baba go mad for it, mate. Giant chicken feet. She love it to bits. Honestly, Asians. Thailand especially. Mwah. Mwah. The old chicken feet. Oh, when my kids lived in Thailand, when we were there for like a year, and they went to school in Thailand, and every Wednesday, it was chicken feet on the menu at school. Needless to say, they weren't a fan, but they kind of got used to it. Oof. It's not the sort of thing I'd ever want to get used to. There's no meat on them. It's just gristle and tendery bits. Ugh. <sighs> not there. The trail's become impassable. Oh, at least a pain in the ass to get through. Look at this, my tree fell down. I don't know. To be fair, <laughs> I was parked up where we parked and there was a warden there like for the area i guess that's the sort of thing they do clear the trail i don't know i'd also be a foresty forest and carry a little chainsaw on there just cut it clear and clear the trail eh? It'd be a good thing man i mean it's dead wood eh? no! <clears throat> needless to say oh, i didn't bring the chainsaw with me bollocks i wonder over this one oh, it's an head smacker or a nutcracker oh, damn it oh, i've got it I'll go with this one. I'm getting old. I don't need them as much. <laughs> Shit. Might slip. Whoa. Whoa. Oh, wow. Well, this is kind of quaint. Nice. Little trickle. I'm not sure if this is actually the main falls. I don't know if it's a little further up or further down, but... Oh, what a beautiful little area with all these flowers going on. Nice. Somewhere over the other side. Is the paying view platform so picturesque though isn't it wow what a beautiful day as well for it let's have a little wander around see if we can get a few more shots of it oh wait for it wow you really get a better shot of it from up here that's really pretty wow Oh my days, finally back at the biscuit tin. Look at me, sweat me chunga off. That was a long walk uphill getting back. More importantly, at least I got the drone back. Mate, that shot with the waterfall. I had a few moments when I was bringing it back where I thought I was gonna lose it. I'll show you at the end of the video if you wanna see more. It was very testy. For now, let's get to the spot for the night. I'm looking forward to this. It's a wicked spot. It is, however, not the easiest spot to get to. I'll show you what I mean. All my days, finally, we're turning onto the single track. And I've got to be honest, just like Anakin says, this is where the fun begins because this road is super, super sketchy. I'm a little bit wary whether the key is actually gonna make it up here. The last time I came down here in a car, I careered off the side of the road and nearly wiped out the car. Seriously, it's a bit dodgy. Fingers crossed. Oh my days, mate. First gear, man. I don't think I've ever come up any hill like this in first gear. This is pretty scary. Just like feel like I'm gonna blow the engine out or something. Christ, look at the steepness in the corners of it though. Oh my God. Wow, dude. Mentalness. They build roads like this. Sort of bloody hiking trail that they put tarmac on. Damn. Christ. It feels a lot worse in this car than any other I've drove it on. I don't know why. I'm nearer the ground, maybe. I don't know. Got no bloody power and three ton of weight on the roof and around me. Oh my god. Oof. Oh, yeah. Not even halfway. Oh, damn. 
clipping the hedge drive and I'm in this damn thing. Shit in the back. Oh, a little bit of flatness. Second gear, baby. Woo, yeah. Come on. Ah, good news. Stage one complete. Let's get through the gate. Oh, my days, mate. I'm hobbling. I'm wounded. It's this car. I don't know what it is. I feel like I've got deep vein thrombosis going on on the right side of my leg. I think it's something to do with this chair. Seriously, it's so painful. The last few trips and drives I've done. Yeah, man. I just want to get out and like stretch my leg, and then a few minutes later, it's okay. But while I'm sitting, whoa, agony. Oh, it bleeps at me like mad. Stop. I could do with getting some mad bucket seat in here, but with all this in here, I'm not sure I'd fit it in. Anyway. Onto stage two. This one's a little bit more forgiving. Oh, not the first bit. <sighs> Popper into the wild zone. Sheep you on the trail. Oh, dear little lamb. Come on, bro. Oh, God, look at the state of the uh, the track. I'm not even going to use the word road. Oh, yeah. Kia's loving it, baby. Just need some badass like, off road tyres on there and be well away. Could be wrong, but I think somewhere around here is where I careered off that side of the road, coming the other way. Yeah, somewhere around here, one of these rocks, man. I come off, and I got the axle, like my wheels, two sides, and the middle axle stuck on one of them rocks there. That was a nightmare. Took about eight people to push it off. Let's not do it again. Mate, look at the views, dude. This is why we're here. Oh my days, what a spot. Oh, no bloody gate. I'll tell you what, this is a remote spot, but with the weather like this and the wind and all that, wow, it feels super remote. God, dude, that bloke's got the bloody spot I want. Ah, oh, bomb chin. Chances are he'd be here all night as well. There's a mountain boffy around here, and he's probably gone over to that for the night. Damn it, that sucks. Ah, let me find a spot where we can pitch the tent. Got it, mate. It sucks. That guy has got the spot that I wanted. It's perfect where he is. Pitch tent, other side, nice little bit of grassland. Uh, or the other option is the other end of the car park, where I am. Let's have a look what's this side. Just a freaking mud old patch, dude, with a bog. Oh, this sucks. Oh, my days. Oh, my days. There's a dude coming down the way. There's only one car here, unless he's gonna walk 20 mile back to the main town. This is it, this is the dude. Okay, she's climbing over the gate. The dog's coming as well, which way's she going? Oh no, the dog don't know where to go. Where's the dog going? Where's the dog going? <laughs> coming this way, you yeah, boy. She might just walk straight past it and go miles into the wilds. The dog's the key, where's the dog going? Where's the dog going? Go on, doggy. To the right, kid, to the right, kid. Oh, he's thinking about it, he's thinking about it. She's heading towards the car. The dog's gone to the gate. No, don't go to the gate, dog. Come to the car. She's going to the car. She's walking away from the car. Open the boot, open the boot. He's out of the car, let's go. <sighs> right, it really is blowy. I haven't got your muff on yet, but uh, just to show you, I mean, it really is, when the, the prime spot, mate, it really is. There's enough room there to pull the tent out and then put the guide ropes out. I'm not really bothering anybody. I've probably took one extra space, but... Yeah, mate, we're in there lot somewhere. The only thing we've got to worry about is the weather. It's looking windy and like it's really going to come down with a storm. Unless it comes from that direction, because that looks nice. It's not. It's coming from over there. <laughs> First thing, prioritise. I think we get the tent up and then we'll think about the cooking and the fire, mate. Stoked. Got a wicked little adaption for having a bonfire tonight. Show you in a bit. Oh, mama. oh yeah. Oh no, the ground's not flat. I'm not gonna lie. It's quite a bit of wind tonight. It's a little bit over. Apparently I can lock this ladder out somehow, stop it bouncing like it was last time. Let me just see if I can fathom that out. 
Well, what can I say? We've had a saviour, let me show you. Oh, bless. He's absolutely sorted this ladder out. We've worked it out, basically you have to have normal steps and all these push-ups to the top. And that is solid. It's not bouncing around anywhere. So tight. I've just got to peg it out now. Give it some sort of shape and tie these off so they don't flap. Uh, people saying I can do that. I had a problem with them flapping. They're keeping me awake the other night, but there's a way to sort that out. And yeah, we're nearly ready. Good, good this as well. Check these guys out. The guys brought his kids out and they're going to go stay in the boffy tonight. There's a mad boffy, I don't know if I mentioned it, over yonder. I've had it on the channel before. There's a big lake and then a two room boffy. It's got double bunk beds in there and a sort of living room cooking area. It's fantastic. And yeah, guy's taking his kids there. I might have to just tie mine up one night and drag them out. <laughs> now, let's get this sorted. Well, got to say it. I'm pretty chuffed with this, how it's all, all turned out. The ladder's straight, there's no bouncing. And ah, it looks a bit of a mess, but I've done it, you know what I mean? There are ways of tying all this off. I've kind of tied it down a little bit here. And then all these straps at the top, I can't reach that one. But yeah, you can pull all the top taut. This has been tied down, probably another way. But you see the straps and bits everywhere that, well, that was part of the packing, if you know what I mean. But there are other bits. I've started, it's not gonna flap this side. And then I've tied it all out, man. Oh, the roof are tied up a little bit as well. Bloody hell, there's so much to this tent. It's wicked, mate. Love it to bits. We're set. Let's destroy something now and cook something to eat. Oh no, wait. I've got something else I can chuff up before we burn tonight's meal. And it's got lots of bits to it. So it's definitely gonna be a nightmare. Let me show you. This thing's absolutely wicked. I mean, I haven't seen it up yet, so it might not be, but in theory, it is. Look at the size of it. I mean, that's like, that's big enough to fit or small enough to go in the Kia, or even a wild camping setup. It is a fire pit. It's one of them standing ones on a tripod with a mesh. And uh, yeah, hopefully if it's not too difficult, it will be pretty cool. Oh, I can't get it unzipped. Not now. It's not mine, I borrowed it. So I need to be careful with it. Whew. Oh, mama. Oh, that's a lot of pieces. There's more. Oh, the, oh my God, there's even smaller pieces and pieces and pieces. Oh, mama. This looks complicated. It really does. Okay, yeah, I'm really struggling, honest, like to just get it out of the bag here. That's not easy. Ah, oh, winner. Yeah, we got it. Oh, my day. Oh, my days, dude. small that pieces oh my god there's, there's more of them they're on the floor everywhere oh my god oh jay man <laughs> dude you didn't tell me there's little pieces oh i didn't realize oh this is not not cool you know sometimes when you see something and it looks brilliant and you think you're going to get it and have a go of it and then when you get it out of the box you wish you'd not i'm in that moment definitely in that moment. Okay, three and three, that looks good. Oh crap. Yep, okay, not close. Uh, okay, problem number one, I've wished there's many. I've got a clue what I'm doing with this thing, man. Like if I just tie them on, they're gonna poke up like really tightly together, like straight up and then I've got to attach that thing to it, which is going to spread right out. That's not going to work. Which means these things need to be on a bit of an angle, which makes sense. But then we come to problem number two. Oh, there's a bee around there. Ah, problem number three. I need a tool kit. I haven't got a screwdriver with me. I normally do keep one in the car. Looks like I need a little spanner as well to hold on to that. I'm not sure I can do it tight enough and safe enough to use by hand. Give me a minute. Oh, blooming it. This is a nightmare. I've done three, and now I need like kitty fingers to be able to get in and do the last one. I don't know. It's not happening. Holy hell. Bag's flying away. Hang on. Oh my days, I might actually do it. No. Nearly. I've done it. I did a thing. Oh, I don't know, man. This is so weird. I guess once I get this thing on, it's just going to give it... Oh my god. It's going to give it shape. Oh my days. This is not going to be easy. 
these bloody things work. I'll feed this through here, something. Then, look, feed that through there, some. Oh, bloody hell, I'm just poke myself in the bleeding eye. This is not good. One will go through, two won't go through. It don't work, it's not going through, look. It's too big, it's too big. Yeah, oh, it's gone through. Yeah, that makes sense now. <laughs> this is not gonna fall down straight away as soon as I touch it, is it? Of course it is. Ridiculous. Oh, not easy. Struggling. Ah, oh, blooming it. Oh no. Oh no, no, don't fall, no! Do opposites, opposites first. Opposites will work. No way, dude. I have no idea if it's right. But it looks like it'll work. The only problem with it is, it's super windy now. I'm not entirely sure I'm gonna use it. Pain in the ass. But I hope, at least we set it up. Oh, oh my days, it's so windy and cold. I'm not even sure this is going to be possible to cook outside. Damn it. It's really cold. Can't believe it. Whoa. Good news, though. For tonight's Pacific chicken. Because it's curry night. Oh, yeah. Ah, it better be good as well. Of course, we've even got garlic naan to go with it, man. Look at this bad boy. That's a disaster waiting to happen, eh? First things first. The minging jizzy chicken, and it really is gonna be. I've got no gloves to put on, mate. Got it. Just wipes to spare me paws thereafter. I don't know how to do this. Good, eh? That makes life a bit easier. Wicked, mate. You do. Screw the wipe. Let's get in there. Oh, ding it. Right. I doubt this big time that this is gonna work with the amount of wind blowing around here, but oh my God, hey ho, we're in. Oh man. Yeah, man, the wind's just blowing it out, man, already. Bloody hell, it's nothing like cooking in the wilds, is it, having to resort to stashing it in front of your bloody front grill. Let's hope it don't melt the front of the car. Got it. Good news. At least a bloody flame of that old there. Oh! Yep, that's up. Great, you turn it back two minutes and it's all on the floor. It's burning me board as well. He's burnt me board! Oh, mate! Got it, man. Me bloody chopping board. <sighs> Bugger. Right, as far as we can tell, uh, the chicken looks. Yeah, all right, man, it's about cooked. We'd have never cooked it out the back with all that wind. Good news, now we're going in with the complicated bit. Ugh. Oh, God. Uh, I need a tool. I haven't got one. Bear with. Uh, I got a tool. It's not helping. Oh, it did. Oh, no, can't help. Right, in with that. Oh, crap. I think you're supposed to mix it in with the chicken, to be honest, but hey ho. Right, apparently that needed that long. I don't know how long that long was, but... Uh, uh, yeah, I'm going in with that bad boy. A Rogan Josh. Oh, mate, I'm feeling brave. Oh, God. Yeah, all of it then. And a bit of the old rice key. Yeah, man. Right, I feel like that's kind of doing what it's supposed to do, so... Uh, yeah, I'm going to warm one of them bad boys up. Oh, look at Right, I'm feeling it. I don't know. I think it's about ready. And I am going to serve it up because I'm going to need to clean that pan while it's still warm. Oh, mama. Oh, don't miss. Yeah. Oh, nearly. Oh, well, I've got to say it. Oh, mate, a pretty good feed. Oh. I'm actually quite impressed with myself. Look at that bad boy. Oh, I don't think it needed to be on two plates, but hey-ho. Uh, I can tell you, however, though, that it is cooked nicely. Tried it, but for me, it's a little bit spicy. So, Rogan Josh, I should have gone with the korma, but I didn't. Mm. Mate, it's not bad, actually. Well, the belly's full, and the fire's absolutely blazing. Time to get a brew on with me new whistling kettle. Oh mate, I'm so psyched. I saw it in the old 
QD shop, the cheapo shop the other day. I don't know how much it was, a couple of quid. It's a one litre kettle, so I hope it's enough. But the most important part about it, it whistles. <sighs> Can't wait to try it. I probably should have cleaned it out first. Oh well, we didn't. Bit of an issue with it though. How am I supposed to fill the bugger up? Oh, that's well awkward. No, I'm not wasting water everywhere, am I? Yes, I am. No, I'm not. I don't even know how much I bloody need. Oh, no, I'm not impressed. Oh, half my water's gone on the floor. Gotta be someone's bum hair hanging off it as well. Oh, minging. They get everywhere. Right, let's, let's hear it whistle. <gasps> I'm excited. Woohoo! Whistle what? <laughs> oh yeah nice dude roasting the old melons mellows on the fire wicked really like this fire as well it's so cool man such a like usable thing i mean look at that all right you gotta carry your wood and all that which is a bit of a bum chin but yeah for it to fold down as small as it does i'm really sorry certainly something i can use in the kia oh, a bit of smoke here I can't bring the other big one with me. It's just, well, too big. God damn. Oh, man. Oh, that's good. All melted in the middle. Good as well. I didn't just bring marshmallows with me. Check this. Bad boy flumps. Although, I've just noticed, they're minis. I mean, it should be the right size, but the giant ones would have been way better. But hey, hey. These look good. Oh man. <laughs> Toasting. What a viewing for it as well, eh? Look at that, man. It's clearing up a little bit. Beautiful surroundings. Belly full, fire going, tent up, kettle on, mate. Living the chuffing dream, baby. Living the dream, man. You know, yeah, I got a roof tent on the top and a few bits, but it's not all necessary, man. I've done it basics. You know that. It's just the fact of getting out here and being in this area, mate. Not specifically this area, but an area like this, away from it all, man. <sighs> Beautiful. And I'm not the only one. There's plenty of people enjoying this style of pastime and lifestyle. Guy with his kids going out to the boffy for the night. I'm very envious. I wish it was my kids. And maybe I should do more to push to get them out. One time, the girl, 14, and uh, very strong-minded, let's put it that way, do you know what I mean? Uh, the lad, he's a lot more easy going, but they're not really up for it. I guess they would be, they'd enjoy it, and it builds up memories, doesn't it? You know, I think that's what it's about. When they get older and they look back and they think, you know what, I didn't really enjoy it that much, parking around when I was young. With Dad, it was a pain in the arse, but looking back now, yeah, it was pretty damn cool and I'm glad he did it. They're the moments you want. It might not always seem the most enjoyable, best thing ever for them on the face value. But years down the line, it will mean a lot to them that you were a good parent and a good father, eh? Back, back, ten. A few odds and sods, man. Somewhere up a hill with a view. That's all I'm saying. Gotta be honest, though. The marshmallows are better than the flumps. I really shouldn't be licking it off the end of God knows what this thing is. I don't even know it's been cleaned. I was given it by Psychic Bob, so... Mm. There is a chance it is cleaning. Not gonna poison me, but hey ho. Oh, bloody whistling kettle's taking forever, dude. Come on! Fire will be dead by the time bloody things whistling. Well, the fire's nearly done. The belly's full of marshmallow. I gotta be honest. I think the bloody whistle's broken on this kettle, mate. It's been going forever. Oh wait, wait! Come on, baby! You can do it! More? You need a metal one, don't you? It's not got the strength for the whistle, man. You'd never call the dog with that. Might it's not good. Whoa! Oh, oh shit, in my eye. Oh, my back's burning. Ah, it's baseball. Let's just call it. It's not the best whistle ever, but I think it's because it's outside with the wind. 
Yee, whistling kettle. Don't spill. Don't, what the f What? What? How is that supposed to pour? What the f is that? Oh, yeah. Well, I've got to say it. Um, yeah, new whistling kettle. Take good note of it. I think that's the last time we'll ever see it. That sucks. Can't even pour the bleeding water out. What kind of kettle you can't pull the water out? What kind of stupid design is that? That's useless. No, it's not just me. It is crap. Right. I'm going to sop up, cut more marshmallows, and then look at chilling out for an hour before we get up in the tent for the night. What a wicked setup, mate. In the wilds. It don't get much better than this. I'm super psyched. Oh, still a last little bit of warmth in the fire. It's not warm tonight, it's about eight degrees, middle of summer, nightmare. But what I think I'm gonna do is slowly get up here and set this all up. Get my blankets in, get my pillows in, and maybe just get an early night. To be honest, it's been a long day today and I'm pretty tired, so yeah, an early night's in order for a change. And I'll catch you guys in the morning. Oh, morning. Well, what can I say? Good night's sleep, but I was damn cold. It's not warm at the minute. Look at the state of the sky. I was hoping for blue skies this morning. It's looking pretty dang grey. But I've got things to do, places to be. I need coffee first though. Well, I'm halfway through the coffee and it's kind of kicking in. I feel so exhausted this morning. I don't know why, I think it's just because I got such a good night's sleep. It was so comfortable up there, I've like overslept or something, but I lulled my hands up. I was expecting a little bit more from the weather this morning. It's been predicted blue skies and blazing for days today, and I've been holding out for it, but it hasn't arrived. Needless to say, it's not that much of a bother as I'm heading back to Leicester today. So all I gotta do is sup about three more coffees and then I can put everything away. And I think this is gonna be the best point to end the episode. If you've enjoyed this one, all the good stuff, hit the like button, subscribe to keep up with the series and definitely hit me in the comments. And as always, you know, you know. From a legend of a spot with the roof tent in full effect. Take it easy, enjoy the camp and stay stealthy. So the drone incident then, and I've got to be honest, as a sort of anyone who's got a drone that flies and does a bit of photography, there's nothing worse than being in this situation. I've basically got to the point, I've finished a shot, I've turned around and I've realised that there's no way I can tell where I need to fly back to, to where I'm actually sat and positioned. And the worst thing about it is because of the terrain and all the trees around me, I can't use the return to home feature. So you're instantly thinking, I'm about to lose my drone here. I literally spent about two or three minutes flying around and trying to hear and see the drone with my own eyes rather than the actual screen of the controller until I eventually saw myself in the drone. That little pink dot in the middle of the screen. What I've got to do now is fly through all these little trees and bushes. Not clip any, because that'll take the drone down into the river below me, and I've got it all back home safe and dry. Another gnarly situation with the drone. <laughs> Good tid.